This is a video about uh, Microsoft Excel 2010, creating an equipment database. And this is part five, and it's about reporting. Uh, we're back to the spreadsheet from the last part of the video. We're on the first worksheet. And this is our uh, list of fixtures by room. And in order to total this up, and give us uh, something that's a little more useful in terms of ordering parts or that sort of thing. What I'm going to do here is start out on this sheet by doing some named ranges. We'll start out with this column and we'll go to formula, define name. Now I'm going to start this name with, in this case, using room to distinguish this uh, lamp code field that is the one on this uh, fixtures by room sheet. So I'm going to go with room lamp code and then I'm going to go over to this one and just sort of be consistent there and I define this as room number of lamps okay and we'll name that one now I'm going to go to the lamp list and over here we're going to create another column I'm going to call this one total, and here we're going to total up uh, the number of lamps for each one of these codes. And in order to do that, uh, we're going to use a function called the sum if. And this uh, adds a cell specified by giving conditions. So in this case, we're going to have a range. And that uh, first range is going to be what field it is that we're going to be looking in for making the comparison. So on that first sheet in the fixtures by room, that would be the, uh, the lamp codes. So I'm going to just start typing in the name of that range. And you can see it gives me a choice right here of a couple of named ranges. And it's that room lamp code is the one that I want. Okay. Now the criteria is going to actually be uh, the lamp code that we're looking at in this lamp list. And that would be right here. Then the next thing is going to be the sum range, which is, uh, which is the actual numbers that we're going to be summing up here. In this case, is it's going to be that room uh, number of lamps. Start typing here. And I'm going to put the room number of lamps. And close parentheses. And that gives me a zero. Okay, which isn't too bad. And let's just copy this down. And we're actually getting some numbers here. Now it turns out these numbers actually reflect the sums of the lamps in the other page. So you can check that out, but this does add up. It's making a comparison. It's looking at the room lamp code, comparing with the lamp code in the list here. And then if they're the same, it's uh, adding up the uh, room number of lamps and wherever it appears for that. And I'm just going to continue to drag that down to the end of this data that I've got in here. Okay. Now, uh, one other thing that we'd like to do, and we have some costs that came over from the land list. We're going to go here to uh, another column where we're going to total that up. So I'm going to call this one extended. And so here we're going to put a formula. And this would be a pretty simple equals the total times the estimated cost. And that can give us a zero. We'll try running that down here. And actually gives us some pretty good numbers. Uh, make that look a little better. I'm going to uh, format the decimals. 
And there we have uh, something looking a little better. Now, I'm going to copy this down the rest of the way. And that gives us uh, a run total for all of the fixtures that we're looking at here as being entered on that list. Now we're going to do uh, one other thing here just to make this list a little bit easier to read. And that is we're going to do a... And just to make this list a little bit easier to read, we're going to do some uh, conditional formatting. So we're going to do some conditional formatting here. We'll go and set that. We'll highlight the cell greater than zero. And we're going to go with green fill with dark green text. Okay, and it didn't do too much. But it looks uh, a little better now. And we can do the same thing over here. Conditional formatting greater than zero. And again, we'll get the green fill with dark green text. So this will make the items that are non-zero. So we're looking here to get the lamps that we uh, need to order or whatever parts we want. This highlights the ones that um, are of particular interest to us. So that's it for um, this video. We'll um, look at some error checking, some other formatting in uh, the next video. Further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.